Hello all of my amazing artists. Today we're going to be making a fun llama drawing. And what you'll need is a piece of paper, and this could be any paper you have at home. I'm going to be using a piece of computer paper. I have a Sharpie marker. If you don't have a Sharpie, you can use a black crayon, a black marker, whatever you have, maybe even a pen. Also markers, but if you don't have markers, you can use crayons or colored pencils. That's up to you. So I'm going to start by making two dots at the bottom of my page. One that is a little in from the left side down here, about an inch and a half. And then I'm going to make a dot on the other side so I know where my line starts and where it ends. And I'm going to make a curvy cloud-like line. It's going to go up and around, but make sure you leave enough space at the top of your page so that your llama can have ears. You don't want your line to go all the way up to the top. Okay, next, I'm going to make sure that I know where my ears are going to be. So I like to just trace my lines first with my finger. So I'm going to draw with my finger first so I know the shape and where my lines are going to be. And then I'm going to draw this curvy line going up and around for one ear and then the other. Okay, next I'm going to create the eyes. My llama's eyes are closed, so I'm just making a curved line like a sideways letter C. Um, if you want your eyes can be open, that's up to you. You can be as creative as you'd like with this llama. I'm drawing two dots so I know where the top of the nose is and where the bottom. Well, it's not really the nose, but it's the mouth area. Okay, and then I'm drawing this line to show a definition underneath the mouth. It's actually a curvy line here. Okay, so for the nose and the mouth, I'm gonna be making an upside down triangle, a letter J, and then a backwards letter J going the other way. You can add some eyelashes. My llama is going to be wearing some glasses, so I'm going to be drawing circles around the eyes. Connect the circles in the middle. And I'm just coloring in to make this line a little bit thicker for the glasses. But again, you can be as creative as you'd like with your llama. If you want your llama to be wearing a hat, he can wear a hat. Your llama could be wearing a bow. Your llama could be, hmm, what else? Could be wearing a necklace. Your llama could have funny hair. It's totally up to you. I'm actually adding a necklace for my llama with a heart pendant. So when you give characteristics to an animal that are human-like characteristics, we call that personification, right? Personification is when you give human characteristics to an animal. So for example, the llama's wearing glasses and a necklace, and normally llamas would not be wearing a necklace or glasses, but because I'm personifying my llama, my llama, you can make whatever you want, any human characteristics, like if the llama was wearing a hat or a bow or a scarf, or if the llama had a book. So, And then the background, I want you to add any symbols you want. I'm going to add peace signs, a heart, stars. You could just do one pattern repeated. 
You can do stripes. Whatever inspires you. Oh, and also some spirals. I love spirals. And then afterwards, the last step is to just color your background and maybe color some things that you added to the llama. I'm going to color in the llama's nose, but I'm going to leave a little highlight at the tip of the nose. A highlight is where the light hits. All right, and now I'm going to color. And I'm just going to speed some things up. So it's going to fast forward a little bit, and that way we can get to our finished product. All right, and there we have it, our fun llama drawing. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you guys enjoy this lesson. I can't wait to see all of your pictures.